Hey guys, what's up? So today I'll be showing you five widget apps for your phone. So for your iPhone. So basically the first app is called Widget and all these down links for these apps will be down in the description. So go to the description and download these apps. So and I'm gonna to credit to your reviews for um, basically how I found these apps. I found it from his video. I will link that video down in the description also. So like I said the first app is called Widgets. So this one guys is pretty cool. So you basically you have you could do your background color if you wanted to unlock all of them the one that are locked you also have to pay for it. Um, so basically let's say I want yellow. Okay, so it'll be yellow. Let's say I want red, it'll be red. So I kinda like yellow. So I'm gonna keep it yellow. You just choose whatever one you want. And then you have different um, weather ones. So basically the one you want you just tap on. So let's say I want this one right here, I tap on it. And then you know you can go over, slide over to your clock, and you can choose different ones. And then when you want for here, tap on it. And then battery, when you want for here, tap on it. So I'm gonna do this one right here. That one's pretty cool. And then for calendar, that's the one you want. Tap on it. So uh, I like this one right here. That one. Actually, yeah, that one's pretty cool. Okay. So now what you want to do is scroll, um, scroll for notification center. Scroll over. You guys can see it's right there. So basically, you want to go all the way down. You'd be up here. Scroll all the way down, and then tap on Edit, and then you guys want to scroll down to the ones that are more widgets, and then tap on Add them. So you see down here the four I have down here. This one, this one, this one, and this one. You want to add them, and then you press Done, and you can see they're right there. That's one. That's one. That's one, and that's one. So it's that easy. If you guys want to change it, so the calendar said this one. This is how I want this one. I'll just tap on it. And then you see that it changed. So it's pretty cool. Go check this um, one out. I really like it. So the next app we have is called System Service. And this one's pretty cool. So basically when you first open it up, you have all of your um, your device settings. So basically you have like your device model, you have your space. You have all that stuff, guys. I would scroll down, but some, some private stuff. I don't really want you guys to see. But it has all your device information right here or your hardware hardware information and then what's cool on the top left you can press on settings and you can change the advertising so you can change not to advertising so you change the theme so you want to move advertising i'm guessing it costs money but the white one white mode right here and then the black mode is really really cool i like the black mode a lot better so that's the black mode so and then down here on network it tells you all about your network and then memory it tells you What's taking up the most space? Um, it also tells you like a pie chart down there of what's taking up the most space, what how much space I think is taken up. It's pretty cool. And you have disk, so it tells you exactly how much space you use, how much space you have left, and all that stuff. And then you have your battery, so it tells you how much time, you, how much battery you have left, what your battery percentage is, and it's actually pretty pretty accurate. So I really like this app. Go check it out. All right, so next up we have called favorites, and like I said, guys, all the downloads for these apps will be down in the description. And I'm not sponsored by any of these apps; I'm just reviewing them because I think that they're actually pretty cool widgets apps. So, like I said, this one's favorites. So with this one, it's pretty cool. So you can edit, you can delete your um, the ones you made, which I'll try to do. So basically, first off, you want to enable it. So enable it. You scroll up from the location center, scroll over, tap on edit, and then you want to add the favorites launcher, the one right there. So basically, it'll be down there. The random set of favorites for me, and you just tap on the the green plus button on the left side, and that's how you add it. So once you guys have added, then you can see it's right there, favorites launcher. So now within the app, you guys can go to top right to plus. You guys can add a contact or add a group. So add a contact. I'm gonna add let's add Amanda, and then, so basically when you tap on the button, it tells you like all her information, not all information, but tells you basically all that stuff. WhatsApp, Telegram not installed. And taps you tap on it and you tap to call the person okay and basically um i'll show you a cool setting so tap on the plus tap on add group and you can name it um squad whatever whatever you want to name it and then you want to tap on the group and you can tap on the top right to add people 
So that's someone Amanda, Ashley, I don't even know really who these people are, honestly. Um, whatever that is. So <clears throat> once you guys tap on that, you can do a group message, but it does cost money. So all like it's only two dollars and like I don't know, I, I haven't bought it, but like I think the the um, features are really, really cool. Full contact groups, you guys send like different stuff to everybody, and when you scroll up, go to it and you guys so tap on it and then tap on back up. Oh, to like all of them back to all type of one person and you do all kind of stuff so i think it's pretty cool you guys could check it out and if you guys are interested definitely i guess buy premium it's only two dollars but yep so next one we have is called i jumper and this one basically allows you to get access to your apps pretty quickly um i find it kind of useless but like if you have a cluster of apps like i do and try to you know you can still search for the app and this just makes it a lot easier to find like apps that you really love. So you can add basically different apps. So go to widgets. Also, I just want to say it's pretty cool because it has device information. It tells you like all kinds of stuff about your, your hardware device. But the main purpose is widgets. Um, so go to edit, add, and then you're going to search for one of the apps you have. So let's say I have um, uh, like, let's see an app I have. All right, let's say ha all right, Air Spy, sure. Okay. There it is, tap on it. Okay, and then tap on done. And then you guys want, you can you guys can get, um, pull up your notification center, and then scroll over, and then it'll be right there. So you just tap to open up. That's how cool it is. Tap, open up. Also, what you guys can do is go to edit, and it'll be down here. Uh, the eye jumper so you just want to tap on the on the left side to add it or you guys can just scroll over and then you could just add it from here you go edit and then add it and then you just tap on it to open it up so yeah guys that's that one all right and the last app is called quote widget and this one's kind of useless but i think it's pretty cool at the same time so basically what this app does is that it basically gives you quotes um, in your widgets or notification center. So I first have to enable it so you can scroll down and then go to edit and then scroll down and then find quote widget and then tap on the plus on the top left of it. And then it should pop up up here. So there it is right there. Last one just um, added. <clears throat> so once you guys add it, then you just go to your widget, you go to notification center and then slide over to the left and you can see that right there. It tells you a quote. Try to learn something about every, everything and everyone about something. So, and then you could swipe it up, go back, um, swipe back down, go back to it, and it keeps refreshing new quotes. Never interrupt your enemy when he is mistaken a mistake. Also, go up the app, and then you can see a um, quote, and tap on the top left to refresh it, <clears throat> and then another um, quote appears. So it's pretty cool. It kind of gives you some motivation today. So, you guys hope you enjoyed my five um widget apps like i said i'll leave down i reviews link down in the description because that's how i found these apps from this video and i'll leave down down links for all these apps also down uh, in the description but hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching peace